In this work, we introduce a video retargeting method which optimally combines cropping and warping strategies based on motion information. Motion defines the temporal persistence of objects and also provides pixel correspondence for the preservation of temporal coherence. When retargeting videos using cropping alone, important objects can be potentially discarded. Content-aware cropping also usually introduces large virtual camera motions. This example was manually cropped by an artist trying to achieve the best possible result capturing the characters and the story. An alternative to cropping is content-aware resizing. However, content-aware resizing techniques easily squeeze objects if there are no sufficient homogeneous regions to be exploited. We observed that important objects usually persist for a sequence of video frames, and removing them for a while doesn't entirely lose them, unless they appear as active foregrounds. Therefore, we detect critical regions which must not be cropped based on the entropy of pixel motions and the temporal persistence. Our goal is to constrain all the critical regions to lie within the target video cube while warping the video. As a result, the video frames slide and homogeneous regions become squeezed according to the optimal combination of cropping and warping. Here we show comparisons between our result and the results of the cropping and warping methods. To preserve temporal coherence, we compute the local transformations between subsequent frames based on the optical flow. We then strive to preserve the transformation between corresponding regions when retargeting, transforming each quad consistently. We compare our method to the streaming video technique from Krahenbuhl and colleagues and the motion-aware technique from Wang and colleagues. As we can see in the videos, the streaming method produces waving artifacts because it is consistently resizing temporally adjacent pixels. But unfortunately, objects may move to different positions between frames, and then they get deformed to different sizes. Although the motion-aware method preserves corresponding objects based on the camera motion, camera alignment fails when the background regions are featureless. To preserve temporal coherence, the method of Wang and colleagues may enforce large moving areas to be equally deformed, in which case the method degenerates to simple linear scaling. From now on, we only compare our method to the motion-aware video resizing, since this method explicitly detects object correspondences. Cropping becomes necessary when there are too many prominent objects or when the foreground objects overlap with many background objects. This is because, in such cases, homogeneous regions where distortion can be hidden are limited, and in some scenarios they must be well preserved to achieve temporal coherence. Here we show some examples where the objects in the video have highly varying depths. Due to the parallax effect, the frame alignment based on camera estimation cannot coherently transform corresponding pixels to the same position, and the method of Wang and colleagues produces artifacts, squeezing prominent objects. Even worse, if the method of Wang and colleagues fails to detect the moving objects, waving artifacts occur. Please notice the wall and people in these examples. In contrast, our method requires neither camera alignment nor explicit separation of moving foregrounds from background, and thus successfully retargets these examples. All the examples in this work were created without manual intervention. In rare cases, the user might want to emphasize important objects. These can be segmented in one frame using graph cut, and the segmentation is automatically propagated to neighboring frames using the motion information. Thank you for your attention.